Well, welcome to Hillbilly Custom. I've got a different project today. I actually going to try to run the camera for some of it. If I remember to turn it on and off. Might have to run it a little fast. It's going to be a long, boring video because I'm drilling holes. But I thought I'd invite you along to see some of the things we can do with this machine. Now this ain't precision work today. This is just drilling holes. Like I said, it's we're going to try to be close, but we're not trying to be accurate because what I've took measurements off of and made this piece of metal for is not straight and it is not, it's not in any way accurate. So the holes is not going to line up. They're going to look awkward. That's because we're trying to fix issues that's been there before and try to make it look good and still work. Alright, let's get to the project. Alright, what we have here is a piece of probably 5 sixteenths by three flat stock. I think it's actually marked hot roll. This is an 18 inch long piece. This is for the cultivator set I am trying to remodel on the uh, my other channel. The Swafford Homestead. So this is going to, like, like the video said, it's part two. If you want to see part one, I'll put a link to the part one on it. But it's going to be on the Swafford Homestead, not on the Hillabitty Custom. For a quick definition of why, the homestand community don't watch a whole lot of the videos I've made when I first started doing fabrication work and repair work. I get a few views, but it's really not what they want to see. So I started a second channel, the Hillbilly Custom, to produce videos about repair work and fabrication and machine shot work and, you know, the other things that they don't necessarily want to see. Or at least I didn't get very many views. So anyway, as we were saying, this piece of metal is for the cultivator modification and setup video I made on the Swafford Homestead. It's part one on it. This is part two. Basically what I'm doing is moving the cultivator spring plows in and reorganize it where it does does the same job, it just does it a little different. But we're here to drill the holes and get things ready. I know it's going to be hard to see, but I've got four holes drilled. That's one. You can't really see the line very well. One there, one here. I'm measuring this off completely with the machine because it's I want it as close to the edge as I can get. Of course, here's the other. Like I said, it's crooked what I'm working with. So this hole is actually set in further than this hole, but if I don't, the metal is crooked on, on the plow itself, on the cultivator set, and it looks funny behind the tractor if the cultivator is set in one way and this piece of metal is set in another. So we're going to try to line everything up and keep it straight, even though the holes is not drilled straight. It'll look better, anyway. But let's get the drilling. start out we're going to take the centering bit I like the centering bit it saves a lot of work and I've got it lined up pretty close to the edge of this metal and the edge of the vise I can kind of feel it hit the crack probably need to check my metal make sure it's level because it don't look level see if my little level box come on it is not level Locked it in the vise, it did not come out like it's supposed to. That's pretty close, it's well, it was less than a degree. So there we go. Like I said, I lined it up with the crack there between the two. Not being accurate, we're just getting close. It's about a 5 eighths hole, 
or three quarter. And the boat, which I'll show you the boat. A little old. Pine thread. Looks like to be a five eighths. That's what goes in these two holes here. I'm moving the spring plows in here and I'm bringing two from the outside in to here which will grip them a little tighter together. It's going to cut about a 14 inch groove which is good. It's a lot better than what it was. Like I said we're going to start on the edge. I get where I can see my wheel. I'm going to count the revolutions. That should be about a 625 hole. It's actually a little smaller. A little older. We need at least a couple hundred thousandths from the edge. I want a couple hundred thousandths. Probably a quarter inch. So I need a quarter inch plus 300. You're looking at a little over half inch from the edge. I'm going to go about 550 just to make sure. Now let's see how close we are. Pretty close. Accurate enough. It's a plow. Don't get dirt. Everything's tight. Kind of speed we got. All we're doing is center driven. Make sure we get a good start with the bit and we don't walk or jump. Good levitation. Now, we shift to that mark. We're going to try to do two leads at a time. So it's aggravating to roll back and forth. At least these two will be the same when we shoot the metal.
we're ready for half inch bit. And it's hard on this machine to do a half inch bit. They say it's good to a half inch, but. You've seen me step up through the holes. That's a 5 inch bolt. There's a lot of rust and stuff where it goes through the, the spring plow. So if it was cleaned off, it'd fit like the rest of it. Now we got to put them here and here. Well, we got the remodel plate done. There'll be four of the cultivator spring plows, one in each hole here. But where these was normally here, we're moving, we're going to leave these, well, they was actually out here, I think. We're moving two in and two in the middle. We're putting four in the middle where there was two in a wide gap. We're trying to kind of close this gap in because they're going to cover a two inch spot apiece. There'll be a little bit of dirt gets through, but I'll probably turn this one slightly and this one slightly so the, it'll be almost pointed. But we got the machine shop part done. As long as this fits, as long as the boats go in the hole, we're in good shape. Looks like another good done deal to me. Well, appreciate you joining me. Hope it wasn't too boring. Have a grilling job. Y'all have a good day.